Hello Blender users, this is Blender 2.6 and today we are going to go through a tutorial that deals with text real-time in the Blender game engine. So right here what you can see is we have text, it is dynamic, it includes some string values and dynamic string value as well. Looks like here we have integers that have been converted to string values. Also, if we actually move out of this, we can see that this is just one single text object. But somehow we managed to create multiple lines in just one text object. So we're going to go through how to do that as well. So, uh, plus you're going to go through how to uh, change the size of your text, change the color of your text. Uh, and so this should be fun. So let's get started. So right off the bat, let's just delete this and create a new text object. Let's go to game logic. So now you can see everything properly. Let's turn on an always pulse sensor that executes a Python script and create a new Python script name it whatever you like insert it over here and let's start the scripting process we import the blender game engine uh, just make sure you have this selected so that it does not go across the lines okay so let's define our text object as the owner so own equals bge dot logic dot get get current controller now before I go any further uh, I'm just going to enable screencast keys for your benefit okay all right so okay so we have defined our owner as a text so let's print hello world into the text so own dot text so own dot text equals hello world well nothing happens um, something is wrong and I think it's this line over here I forgot to put the owner over here okay there it goes there it works so as you can see it works great uh, in fact now I can go ahead and change this to uh, hello world uh, and hello Mars and if I zoom out and you can see it includes uh, the remaining text as well uh, a spacebar matters as well because when you insert that spacebar you saw previously that spacebar never existed now how do we change its color well simple enough just type in own dot color equals uh, a three into th uh, three uh, you, we need three objects RGB three numbers RGB so if we type in one comma one comma one, that's perfect white. Uh, zero comma zero comma zero, that's a perfect black. So let's go with one comma zero comma zero, that's red. So let's see. That did not work, uh, and I think it did not work. It was because we were not in the texture mode. Still does not work. Uh, I I believe because we need one more. Uh, one more object, one more number over here. Okay, that's it. So R G B alpha, and make sure this is one so that it's not transparent. And there we go. And so if you if you make this point five, this is going to be transparent, uh, which is great. Uh, if you want to have transparent text, uh, you can make this one comma one, and this becomes greenish well it is green um, what else yes size 
so on dot size so we could find on dot size as let's go with point one first you can see it's pretty small and you can go all the way to I don't know how much but 10 is pretty huge so for now I'll just stick with 2 sounds reasonable to me for now and doesn't matter okay how do we change the font just go to the font tab over here select a font uh, just for some random font and it works great right so as you can see it's working now how do we get in a number in here let's say I wanna and spin this down into a newer line and I want to preview a number well I can do this but we know that this is a string value not a number so what if I do this well nothing happens uh, cause this um, input only accepts a string value you don't have a string value so we have to create a string value so what we do is we type in str2 and there it works so let's say we want to display time in here in seconds so how do we do that let's create a game property which is timer timer um, so that is own prop so let's name this own prop and as you can see the numbers are flying one every second and clearly this is a mess I don't want to see all these trailing digits so what I'm going to do is use the int function to get rid of all the numbers except the integer value now I can see it's increasing so what if I want to put down three seconds like I can simply just hit plus seconds plus seconds and it is going to uh, mix or shall I say combine both the strings together well that and it's important to have a space bar as I previously mentioned so there we go that looks perfect uh, in fact if I say two times uh, the text within the quotes it's gonna type in twice and you can go 20 times and it gets ridiculous now what if I want to switch to a new line so let's say um, every every time we add in every second it adds in a new line that says seconds second seconds like uh, well so we can create a new line just by doing backslash n more you create black backslash n it just switches to a new line um, so let's say we want to create we want to create uh, a new line for in every second so I can do is take this integer over here and multiply this and let's see what do we get here two three four five so it keeps on going so so a pretty cool thing here um, you know previously uh, we had to utilize these but this feature has existed quite some time but only recently has it gained all this flexibility um, so it works awesome thanks a lot for watching uh, if possible I'll post the the preview file on blend shop and link it to you